Today, I'm going to explain cryptocurrency in layman's terms. Cryptocurrencies, or digital money as some people call them, are not like US dollars or euros. They are not backed by government and they are stored online in a database. These currency transactions are secured with mathematical equations, not people. This database is called a blockchain. It's decentralized, which means it's not controlled by a central authority or government. And the beauty of this database is that it's controlled by its participants in a network which ensures that the same currency isn't spent twice and that the transaction cannot be changed. The entire blockchain history gives the balance of every account on the network. The innovation of cryptocurrency is to achieve agreement on what the history is without a central server, authority, or government. Think of blockchain as a spreadsheet or ledger on the internet where transaction entries are entered into cells. Those entries are the representation of cryptocurrency. You've heard of smart contracts. Those are blockchain programs that are run automatically when triggered without human intervention. Think of an Excel spreadsheet macro that runs if triggered by some event. For example, let's say Jane uses a cryptocurrency like Ethereum to pay Mike for an Airbnb rental. The blockchain recognizes the transaction, sends Jane a receipt, sends a digital entry code that is good for a specified date, then releases the deposit when Jane checks out. Not to confuse matters further, but every cryptocurrency is a little different. But most of them share these basic characteristics. One, they're irreversible. After you send a cryptocurrency and the network has confirmed you, you cannot retrieve it. Most cryptocurrencies are one way, no chargebacks. Two, they're anonymous. Anyone can open up a wallet, no ID required, and have varying stages of anonymity depending on which token you utilize. Three, they're fast and globally accessible. Entries are broadcast across the network immediately and are confirmed in a couple of minutes. Four, they're built to be very secure. Cryptocurrencies use the latest cryptographic techniques, but we're still early in development. Think where it's going to be in a couple of years. Five, they have a controlled supply limited by the network. So there you have it, a very basic high level view of the crypto world, which is evolving and changing every day. What I want you to do to learn more about cryptocurrency is A, subscribe to this channel, and B, go to primechain.com. There's a Telegram link. Go to that Telegram channel, subscribe to that. I'm posting all sorts of tips, tricks, hints, everything going on in the crypto world that I think you should be aware of. Go there now, you won't be disappointed.